Audio intimacy. Ooh, a spicy video today. This comes from David in Brackley, United Kingdom. I think yesterday's question was from somebody in the United Kingdom. Okay, they're after us. Um, the truly great recordings that I have experienced have one tangible something in common. One word describes this value. Forget technology. They have an intimacy that transcends all other values. If you agree, perhaps you'd like to expand on this theme in your uh, inimitable way and explain the connection to the whole experience. Uh, best, uh, is this something that you try to achieve, uh, uh, David, is this something you try to achieve in your finished products? Intimacy, what a great word to be intimate, to, to engage closely with something. And yeah, yeah, that's definitely something we look for in our products. Absolutely. Connection, intimacy, a feeling that we are there, that we are intimately connected with the performers. You know, I talk a lot about the speakers disappearing the musicians being in the room with us and how we work with all of our equipment, with our designs and circuits and everything we do to try and gain that level that David has put together so nicely here of intimacy with the music. And isn't that what it's all about? And you know, when I think about this proposition when a new engineer comes on board at PS Audio and if they are not someone like Darren or Bob who come to us because they already get it, they're already passionate, or Chris Brunhaber, passionate as hell about this intimacy. They understand it like, I don't have to explain it to them, they get it. That's why they're here. You know, I, I tell the story of, of uh, Darren and, and Chris as well. I mean, both of them were just dying to come to work for PS Audio, a company that gets it. Not many companies out there, frankly, really get it and support that sort of thought process and makes those intimate relationship goals a part of our products and our design criteria. I mean, I can't tell you the number of times that we've listened to something and it's like, I, I'm not emotionally engaged. And they, yeah, I get it. Go back to the drawing board. How many people at Sony, I'm not picking on Sony, Pioneer, Yamaha, how many, how many CEOs would say, I'm not emotionally connecting with the music, so go redo it. And how many engineers would go, yeah, you're right. All right, I got an idea. Let me go. But where I started to go with this is when we bring an engineer into the fold who doesn't even know what high-end audio is, how do I explain to them that our goal is to create this, this intimacy, this connection with the music, and to tell them, you know, if you, if you plug this in there and you do this and you, you know, shoot that, that's what's going to happen. I, you know, that takes years to figure that out. So it's, it's always an interesting uh, challenge, I should say, uh, that, we, that we get through. And over time, they either get it or they don't. And some of the engineers that come here, it doesn't really matter whether they get it or they don't because Steve, our production engineer, all he has to do is make sure that, that production is running smoothly, that the products are being built to the standards that we specify, and he, he doesn't impact that original design, that, that kind of thing. So anyway, great question. I, I, I love the word intimacy. Yes, we strive like crazy men to do that. All right, thanks. Talk to you tomorrow.